This is not the update that I thought it was gonna be. I'm really excited to do this. I love a little bit of organization. These are the best air fresheners for your car. You're so cute and soft. Honestly, the best bedding I've ever had. I've caved today, guys. Apologies for what I'm about to say. We saw Don't Worry Darling. What on earth? Hello everyone. Welcome back to another weekly vlog from me and Sunny. Oh, look at the waggy tail. There it is. <laughs> it is Monday morning. We are feeling good this morning. Much better than yesterday. I had proper Sunday feels yesterday. You know when your day just feels a bit sad for no reason? Um, I don't know why I felt like that. It was strange. But Monday morning, I feel much better. Sunny, have you got something to say? <laughs> what is it? She is bored this morning. Although we have just been for a little walk. But the weather today is not the best. It's like a bit drizzly. It's just kind of like in the air. Meow. So it was a very short walk and she's got a lot of energy. When she's got energy, I always say she's got beans. Like I said, she's full of beans. But anyway, I'm up at the office today. I'm about to pack the orders from the weekend. My mum's going to meet me here in about 10 minutes to come and help me pack. I've got quite a few things to do on my to-do list today. A real mixture of Sunnyside and YouTube. So I'll bring you along for the ride. We are almost in the Christmas season. My Christmas stock is being produced as we speak. My autumn launch, which was massively delayed, I won't go into it, is on its way, finally. <laughs> oh, Sunny, please. I'm more than just nine to five. Everyone's gone, it's only you and I. Looks like we'll be staying up all night. It literally feels so cold today. I feel like it's got really nippy out of nowhere thank god for my brother's wedding last saturday it was like the last warm day we had and then the sunday after suddenly like zero degrees it's a bit chilly in the office today i have got an air con which is up here there um, and it does do heat as well so that is the heater in the office but i haven't got it on um i don't want to commit to it yet because i feel like the minute i put it on for the first day it's gonna become my standard to put it on when I come in and obviously it's not cheap to run. So I'm leaving it as long as I can to not put the aircon on because I just know once I make that leap, it's gonna be every day. So I'll just sit here and be cold instead. But my mum's taken Sunny home. They've gone home for lunch. I'm about to do a little bit more work. I've got a job to film today for a car insurance company, which I'm really excited about because it's different for me. And I like to push myself out of my comfort zone every now and again. So I'm just gonna plan that, plan what I'm gonna say. And then I've got to film it in my car, which is outside the office. So I think I'm going to do that while I'm here and then go home for lunch. But it's two o'clock already, so I need to get a move on because I'm cold, I'm a little bit hungry, and I'm going to be hangry before I know it. Right, I've just, oh my God, this camera angle. Hannah, how long have we been doing this for? <laughs> I've just finished filming the job for Sterling Insurance. I'm about to leave and go home for lunch. And do you know what, guys? This isn't sponsored. Like, I'm working with Sterling over on Instagram. But I'm really proud of my driving journey. And I said this in the Instagram story. But, like, I used to be so terrified of driving. When I first passed my test, I didn't drive my car for months. If not, like years before i properly got behind the wheel i started off with a manual car and i just couldn't get the hang of it and then eventually i switched to an automatic and i was still terrified of the roads don't get me wrong but when i switched to auto that's when things started to change for me and then i only really got my confidence when i switched to this car i think because it's a little bit bigger um and i wouldn't have wanted this as my first car it is too big for a first car i think personally i don't know everyone's different but i had my little fiat 500 as my i would consider that my first car because i didn't really drive the manual i had a ford ka first of all she was called pearly she was cute because she was like pearlescent white i just couldn't get the hang of the clutch and stuff like that and i did learn and pass in a manual but that was stressing me out as much as the road was stressing me out so yeah switched to an auto things started to improve and then when i switched to this bigger auto with a bit more of a powerful engine a bit more of a presence on the road i feel like i fully gained my confidence and now i really enjoy driving i never worry about getting in the car to drive somewhere i put my little puppy in the car and off we go that sounds like such a simple thing for so many people but for me considering the two things in life i've been terrified of doing is driving and when i was younger i had a phobia of dogs the fact that i now put my dog in my car and happily drive somewhere like mad this is your sign to reflect upon the small things you've achieved in life that you didn't think you could or that you're currently working on because all the little things add up and make a big difference anyway that's my inspirational life lesson over go home for a tuna panini because my tummy's rumbling oh magpie and i miss my sunny now so let's go and see her do you know how you know that you've grown up and that you're an adult now and you're 
24. Also, what age is mid 20s? Am I mid 20s now? I'm 24. Like, is that early 20s or is that mid 20s? Anyway, you know you're in your mid 20s when you get thoroughly excited about cleaning products, about snacks, about bargains in general. And the lovely team at Cherries very kindly let me choose some items from their app. So I want to give you a quick little homeware haul. If you haven't heard of Cherries before, it's basically like in a nutshell, I would say it is your bargain filled homeware store, but online. Think B&M, Home Bargains, all the good stuff they sell, but delivered to your door. And if you're interested in trying cherries, don't wipe a pair of scissors around in your face. Instead, download the Cherries app, and if you use the code FABHAN25, new customers can get 25% off their order when you spend over £20. So the bargains get even more bargainous. Everything has been laid out. Look at this goodness. Oh my gosh, I feel so lucky to have this. Right, so I'm gonna start with this section. This is for cleaning at home. A couple of requests for my mum in here. I've made a little mistake here. I've added two bathrooms, but whatever. Our bathroom's gonna be shining. Citrus bleach. Mum asked for something for lime scales. So I picked this out. Dettol anti-back spray. We use so much of this. Some shower stuff, some kitcheny bits. This is mum's favorite scent of the floor. Laura, midnight blooms i also picked out these three to take to the office so i use these quite a lot when i'm cleaning up there window and glass cleaner and this contraption for cleaning the blinds then we move on to laundry just got a few little bits i picked out a couple of these cold washes i think i added the aerial one to the basket and then i realized that we actually used the fairy one and i've got to take this one out so not only are we going to have a very shiny bathroom also going to have very clean clothes. This is also the stuff that I use to wash Sunny's harnesses, leads, etc, etc. So if you have any Sunny side items, this is the one. This is the little self-care section. So I've got some spare toothbrushes. We always keep some spares for guests. This is my favourite shower gel. A shampoo and conditioner for mum. And a hairspray for both of us. A little bit random, but I've got a box of tissues and this for my car. And then finally we move on to the food section. So first of all, I got some sugar-free flavoured water. Tea bags, normal and decaf. These are my favourite packet pastas ever. I got these to try. Little skinny whip snack bars. Some of Sunny's favourite treats and Angel Delight, the butterscotch one. It is so good, it reminds me of my childhood. It's just one of those things. And then to take to the office, I have replenished the snack cupboard. Everything mini here. That's what we like to have at work. I always imagine that Cherry's HQ smells unbelievable. I bet it smells delicious. And they must have so many mini snacks there. You know that TikTok that's trending at the minute that's like, I want to go to there. <laughs> me with cherries hq thanks again to cherries i'm gonna go and shine my bathroom now <laughs> i'm not i'm gonna have a cup of tea and a skinny whip guys i'm really sick of my acrylics and i know you're gonna shout at me in the comments being like han you should get by ab by now it's so much better for your nails i know but when i had my acrylics put on i needed speed i needed my walk-in salon so i just went there before my cousin's wedding which was in july and I've kept them on until now and just like kept getting infills, but now I'm sick of them. Apologies for what I'm about to say if you're a nail tech, but I'm gonna attempt to take my acrylics off myself right now. I know this is a bad idea and I haven't even done it yet, but I suddenly feel claustrophobic in them and like my nails can't breathe. Does anyone else get that feeling or am I weird? <laughs> So this is what my nails look like now. I've got little stubby man hands again. But I put some of this Sally Hansen nail strengthener on just because my nails do feel really weak now after having acrylics on. But at least they can breathe. You okay, Huns? You doing all right? Yes, who's going for a groom this morning? Oh, it makes me sad when she goes for a groom because I love her when she's like, see how her neck is so curly here. She loses that when she has a groom because she's blow dried straight. I love when she's like a bit longer and her little face. Her groomer always keeps her ears longer, which I love because I think it makes her look so girly. Oh, but Sunny, you're going to look so different in a few hours. We've got to go though. What's the time? It's 8.46. We needed to leave one minute ago. And here she is, all freshly groomed. Sunny, show everyone your little face. Oh, lovely. You look so sweet. She feels so soft. Every time she comes back from the groomers, especially her head, it's like a little cloud. When you touch her, you just feel her skull because her little fur, <laughs> bless you. You're so cute and soft. I can just feel your little brain. My camera battery's died, so I do apologize that I'm now on my phone, but I've caved today, guys. The heating is on. It's warming up, making the office nice and toasty. It's just cold now. Like, 
even walking sunny my hands feel freezing but i feel like september is too early to crack your gloves out this could be handy actually it's a really boring thing i'm about to say but i'm looking for a really good warm pair of gloves for the winter so if anyone's got any recommendations of like a specific brand that you buy a specific type of glove i don't know i just need something that's really warm because my hands get so cold i'm about to do a job that i've been meaning to do for months and i'm really excited to get it done so my stock room downstairs obviously i have all different sizes of my stock in fact i'll bring you down there and show you so this is what my stock room currently looks like it changed a little bit last week Week because my stock over here this was six tubs higher but I've managed to combine sizes into one tub now because I've sold enough of it which is fab so I've got like extra small and small in the same tub so it's cleared up a bit of space there I might still even rearrange these because I've worked out I can basically get all these tubs into three rows which would then leave two more rows for my new collection which is arriving soon but anyway as you can see some of the tubs have sizing on but not all of them and some of them actually have really old stickers from when i was in my very first office like these small collars are clearly not porphy cups poo bag holders so the plan is to just get rid of all the old labeling and i have some new stickers to put on the tubs so then no matter who is picking whether it's me or my mum I mean, it's always me, but my mum will be able to help me pick the orders now as well as pack them once all the tubs are labelled. I'm really excited to do this. I love a little bit of organisation. All the collars have got their labels on. All the harnesses have their labels too. I managed to free up another couple of tubs over here and around here actually before I found the massive spider. I need to have a move around here because this does not work how it is currently. I feel like these two need to swap over. But yeah, all the products with size in now have a label on. That fills my heart with joy. And the tub collection is well and truly growing for when the autumn and Christmas collections arrive. Went for a blood test, came back, and this box was on the doorstep. I am so excited. Let's have a look inside. I haven't even opened it yet. Got a little sneaky feeling it's gonna be donuts. Da -da -da -da. Oh, my camera battery's going again. Enjoy our new Live in La Vita Coco. Ooh. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful. I've decided I want to do a taste test because I've just been for a blood test. I've been really brave. I wanna treat myself and have something sugary. And these, oh my gosh, it's quite weighty for a donut. Right, let's go. Mmm, that is so me. It's actually not too sweet. It's definitely not sickly. It's delicious and it's got popcorn in the middle. I was about to say I'd give it an eight out of 10, would be slightly higher if it had jam or something in the middle. And it does. It's got like a mango-y curd. I don't know if it's mango, but it's yellow, so my brain's telling me it is. <laughs> obsessed with the tuna panini at the minute oh it's really hot in the george foreman it's so nice and crispy on the outside oh my gosh look at that goodness i'm so excited for this lunch hello mon friends i haven't vlogged for a couple of days not intentional time has just escaped me to be honest um so wednesday i spent pretty much all day packing orders up at the office because tenor tuesday was really busy this week so got all the orders out on wednesday and then Wednesday evening, I actually went to the cinema with my boyfriend for the first time in years. I haven't been to the cinema for ages and it's changed so much. So we went to dinner and we saw Don't Worry Darling. What on earth is all I've got to say. Um, I can't decide whether I enjoyed it or not. It wasn't what I was expecting at all. And to be honest, by the end of it, like, not gonna give any spoilers, but when it got to the car chase bit, I was like, come on, is it done now? Because I saw so many people say like, the ending is rubbish. I thought that rubbish ending was about half an hour before it actually ended. I was like, oh yeah, that is a rubbish way to end it. Then I was like, oh, it's not finished. So it just kept going and I was like, I'm done with this now. Worst bit was when Harry stuck. I was about to give a massive spoiler then, but I won't. Um, it's worth going to see it, otherwise you'll wonder, but don't expect great things. Very confusing a lot of it. Um, anyway, then yesterday, what happened yesterday? Yesterday I was filming for another video, but today is Friday and I'm about to go and pick up my best friend Leanne and we're going to go out for a little lunch. We're just going to a cafe. I saw it on Instagram. It's called Heidi's. It looks beautiful. It's all really pink. It gives me like 
Elan vibes. Elan, is that what it's called? You know, in London, like the posh ones that are really girly. It gives me those sort of vibes, but I'm gonna go there, check it out. It's dog friendly, so Sunny's coming with us. Let's go. Sunny does not want to go out right now. She does not want to leave the bed. And she knows it's harder to pick her up when she's on her back. Come on then. Look, she goes over. Come on, come with honey. She's like, no. Come on, it's hard to pick you up like that. <laughs> you are such a little pickle. Look at her. I haven't made my bed yet. Please excuse that. I'll do it when we get back. It's been a bit of a busy morning, hasn't it? It's me, So last time you saw Leanne, she just passed her driving test. She's now got a car. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's your car called? Gia. Oh, I nearly you. forgot. I am Gia's um, godmum, even <clears throat> though she's a manual yeah. and I drive automatic. We're just not going to yeah. um, think about that. No. But I've got your little present for Gia. Feel Lucky free to girl. choose one of these air fresheners. These are the best air fresheners for your car, like, ever. They're a little bit dented. Blame Amazon, not me. <laughs> it actually comes in a pack of four. I gave one to my mum, which was linen or something. But I've literally bought them for my Ooh, car. Oh, they're like little cans. Yeah, so you've got scratch and sniff, the different scents. See which one you'd like. Colorado cherry. Mm. New car. Yeah. Bubble gum. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. It's hard, isn't it? I had a sniff of all of them. It's between one of the first two, I think. You reckon? Yeah. I thought you'd choose bubble gum. No, I, I don't know whether it'll smell too sickly. Yeah, it is quite strong, isn't mm. it? I think cherry's yeah. the best one. Cherry's yeah. my favourite one. Let's go That's cherry. the one I've got one in my car here. But yeah, you literally just like pull the can thing off yeah. and then open the vent as much or as little as you want and have the lid on it and it just goes in your car oh, wherever you like. Right. That's all right. I'll leave a link down below. They're just from Amazon. Yeah, like definitely. you can get like you can get multi packs of the cherry one, which is what I normally buy, but I thought it'd give you a bit of Ooh. variety. You're so excited. Hello everyone. This is not the update that I thought it was going to be. Me and Sunny are just waiting because Leanne's got out of the car. Oh, little burp, are you all right? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm really not the kind of person to slander a place online because I think everyone has bad days and I completely get that. But we were waiting an hour for a panini that we didn't get. So we're now at McDonald's. Leanne's just gone in to grab it for us. I think, do you know what? I think it was just a really busy day. Um, there was miscommunication. All the sweet stuff looked lovely and to be fair they did give us a free cupcake while we were waiting because it was taking a long time but then it didn't get solved, do you know what I mean? And and also we ordered paninis and a group of women came in and sat next to us, a group of three. They ordered paninis. They got theirs in like 10 minutes. Our paninis weren't even like special orders. They were ham and cheese and mozzarella and pesto. So this table next to us got their paninis and then they came over to us and were like, oh, we've run out of paninis. <laughs> we were like, what? We've been waiting for like half an hour at this point. Table next to us has got their paninis in 10 minutes. So then we had to switch to a bagel, which we didn't really want. But we didn't get that either. So place looks lovely but don't go when you're hungry. No, I'm joking. I'm sure it's lovely food when it arrives. I think it's just one of those days, but they're gonna phone me for a refund, apparently. And if they don't phone, I have to phone them. It's such a shame because I saw this place on Instagram ages ago. I've been excited to go to it ever since. And they also do like a bottomless pizza night, which we really wanted to go to. But now we're not so sure if we want to go to that or not. You know when you just built something up in your head to be really good, like we're going to have such a good time? We've got a couple of Instagram pictures, so you might see them on the gram, but don't be fooled because we're still hungry. <laughs> we left there hungry. But the cupcakes are up here. Can you see them? There's our free cupcakes. We didn't have anything to bring away with us either. They didn't give us like a tub to bring them away in. So Leanne's gone into McDonald's to get a chicken sandwich. Lovely. But luckily, Leanne's mum lives really near here. So we're going to go to Leanne's mum's and eat them. I haven't seen her mum's house yet. And Sunny can go in the garden. Can't you, sweet girl? I don't know, I just thought it was going to be very different at Heidi's. They're also like very dog friendly. They've got like a board of Polaroids with dogs on. I was like, oh my God, Sunny can get a little Polaroid. We can have some yummy lunch in a cute place. Didn't happen, did it, pup? Anyway, mozzarella dippers, here I come. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like this. Hello, Mon friends, from me and a very sleepy puppy she has been so sleepy this whole vlog she's been really like i don't know i think it's because it's autumn vibes now and when it's like rainy and a bit miserable out she just wants to sleep and just just be bless her she also loves this new bedding oh my gosh so do i so one thing about me is i have a little puppy 
Anyone seen that TikTok trend? And when it gets to autumn, it's muddy outside. My puppy likes to go outside in the garden, but she comes back in with muddy paws. She is allowed on my bed because she's cute, but when she comes on my bed with her paws, my white bedding used to have muddy paw prints. So I got a darker bedding. <laughs> I bought it last week and it arrived the other day. It's from Dunelm. You can see it's like, oh my gosh, it's like brushed cotton. Ignore these little bits of whatever that is from the garden but yeah it's such a soft material super cozy and they had it in a few colors as well but i got the i think it's called charcoal gray i don't know because i've got like silver accessories for my bed in and i don't want to have to replace the whole thing so it's quite expensive but the actual duvet set with the pillowcases was only 25 pounds and it feels unbelievable and sunny loves it so i'll link it down below because it's honestly the best bedding I've ever had. I had a couple of samples arrive yesterday, guys, and I'm so, so excited about these. If you watch my vlogs regularly, you probably have seen them, but I designed some mat bags earlier this year, um, which is basically like a little bag that you can take out for your dog. You can unpop it and unzip it, and it turns into a mat for them to sit on on the floor, like if you're in a pub or a cafe. I use mine everywhere with Sunny. You actually saw one of my mat bags in this clip from when I went to the cafe yesterday. Um, I honestly bring it with me everywhere if Sunny's coming. It just gives her a place to settle. She loves it. They sold out really quickly. Uh, the black one sold out in literally like six minutes. It was insane. And I wasn't going to restock because I launched them in summer with the idea that they're like perfect for going to a pub garden. And now the weather's kind of turned, but... As we know, since the weather has turned, I now use my mat bag in cafes and inside dog friendly places. So I have decided to restock them and I've also added three new colours. So I'm going to give you a sneaky peek of the samples. I haven't posted these on the Sunnyside Instagram account yet, so this is the first time I've shared them anywhere. The colours I stocked before were black with white spots and beige with black spots. The first one, we have grey. These samples have taken quite a while to produce because the plastic zips I wanted in the same colour as the fabric. I'm just watching the daddy long legs, that better not come in my window. Off you pop. Yeah, so it's taken a little while to produce because of the zip, but it unpops and then inside it's soft and grey. So this is the first one. Also got the same little portable couch for your human belongings. And the other colour is going to be perfect for around Christmas time. We've got like a festive red slash deep red burgundy vibe. The inside of this one is such a beautiful deep maroony colour. So both really practical for this time of year in the pub or whatever for your dog to settle down next to you. And the third colour I haven't got a sample of because we're trying to get these done as quick as possible but it's just a plain black version so no spots. I had a few people give me feedback last time that they would prefer something plain so just plain black, plain black zips. The plain black one has silver hardware, the same as the grey one. So yeah, I'm really excited that these samples have arrived and the mass product is now in production. It's officially started and should be finished by the end of the month. Super quick turnaround with these ones. So hopefully in November, you'll be able to grab one of these if you want to. Perfect for like Christmas presents for dog owners as well. If your mate's got a dog or if your family member's got a dog or if you've got a dog, whack it on your Christmas list. Small business win today. I'm in my office because I'm about to do a phone backup I get so paranoid about my camera roll. Like, I don't want to lose the photos. Mostly of Sunny, to be honest. I've always been a photo hoarder, but especially since I've had Sunny, like, oh my gosh, if I lost the photos I've got of her, I'd be gutted. At a good time, I have, like, between 100 and 300 photos on my camera roll. Then I feel comfortable. I've got 1,344. Let me know in the comments down below. Have a look at your phone right now. How many photos and videos are in your camera roll? What is the number on yours? I know some people said, like, 20,000. It blows my mind what if you lost your phone do you back it up i use icloud now but i like to organize it into folders and stuff i'm a little bit of a geek when it comes to stuff like that like every single one of my friends has their own folder with photos of us i've got photos of sunny i'll make a wedding album for my brother's wedding but i just feel so much better if i lost my phone i've still got all my pictures so that's what i'm about to do but it's a pretty long job ain't it but another good way to preserve photos this sounds like it's about to be an ad it's not i bought this the other day for one of my brothers and his new wife's wedding present I've put this together. It's a little photo book. My brother's wife is really close to all of her friends. Like she had nine bridesmaids because she's just close to all of her mates. Obviously they'll get some kind of photo album from their professional photographer from the day. But I just thought a little book put together of just all the bridesmaids pictures like from our camera rolls would be a really nice idea. So I've put this together. I got this on popsa on the app i've seen a couple of influencers talking about it but i literally got everyone to send every photo they took in a group chat 
like all of the bridesmaids and I've put together the best photos of the day like this is the morning of us all getting ready just as like a little memory of like the girliest part of the day do you know what I mean and there is pictures from like the evening as well but like we had a breakfast together this is all of us this is all nine bridesmaids it's just really cute I think it's a really nice memory and it really wasn't too expensive at all I think for this book, like I added, there's a lot of photos in here. There must be like a hundred pictures. I think I paid about £55 for this. The pictures are really high quality, glossy paper. I just, I'm really pleased with it. I'm going to write a little message in the front of it. Got some metallic pens to use, how fancy. But I just wanted to recommend Popstar because I've heard people talk about them. Never worked with them or anything like that. But I tried it out, really impressed. And it arrived in a few days as well, so buzzing with that mum and i are also going over to my brother's house tomorrow which is sunday because they're back from their honeymoon on monday they've been to south africa on safari and then done a week in mauritius to have like chilled out time but me and mum are going to go over tomorrow restock the fridge that kind of thing but also to decorate the kitchen so i've bought on amazon this is a little welcome home sign and also at the wedding this is a really good wedding tip if any of you are getting married anytime soon so there were four kids at the wedding and they were all given a disposable camera to like capture the day from a kid's point of view so I've been to get those developed while they've been away and I've got the pictures downstairs and then I've also got string and these little mini wooden pegs from Amazon and I'm going to peg the disposable camera pictures around the kitchen as well and then the colour scheme of the wedding was blue so I've got some blue balloons that I'm going to put in the kitchen as well and we're going to lay our wedding presents for them out on the table and just make it really nice for them to come home to really but I think that is it from me this week I'm going to wrap this vlog up here because I need to edit it not gonna lie and it's already Saturday evening so nice one hand but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog I'm really sorry I feel like it hasn't been that exciting I picked a bad week to vlog to be honest because next week I'm not gonna be weekly vlogging but next week I have four social plans so I feel like I should have vlogged next week instead but hey ho but I hope you've managed to enjoy this vlog regardless don't forget to let me know in the comments down below how many pics are in your camera roll I'm actually really intrigued to know I feel like it says a lot about a person how many pictures they keep on their phone do subscribe to see my future videos next week I've got a cozy little autumnal vlog coming your way so if that sounds like a bit of you stick around but for now thank you very much for watching I hope you're having a lovely Sunday and I'll see you again next week with another little video bye guys love ya